Okay, you can see we're given this octagon right here with an apothem of six units, and we want to find the area. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to divide up this polygon into triangles. So you want to divide it up. All these triangles are going to be the same. They're congruent triangles. And what we can do is if we find the area of one of these triangles, we can multiply by how many triangles we have to find the total area. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this triangle right here. And the first thing we're going to do is see how we divided it up into eight uh, triangles because there's an octagon. So if we take 360 degrees divided by eight, each one of these central angles here is going to be 45 degrees. But the apothem, what it does is it splits this triangle into two triangles, okay, because see how that's six. So that means that each of these angles here is going to be half of 45 degrees. It's going to be 22.5 degrees. So what we want to do now is we want to find the length of the side, but once we find it, we're going to have to double it since this apothem is splitting it into two pieces, uh, into half. So what we're going to do is we're going to recognize that this is a right angle, and we're going to use our tangent because we have opposite and adjacent. So we're going to say the tangent of 22.5 degrees equals the opposite side over the adjacent side, so x over 6. If we multiply both sides by 6, we get x equals 6 times the tangent of 22.5. Let's go to the calculator real quick and do that. 6 tan of 22.5. It comes out to about 2.5, but we're going to have to double it since each of these is 2.5. So that means the length of this side here is going to be 5. So if we find the area of a triangle, remember the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. So it's going to be 1 half, the base is 5, the height is 6. That gives us 30 times a half, which is 15. But we have 8 of these triangles, so if we multiply by 8, we get 120 square units. Now, if you want a formula, a lot of students like to use a formula, area equals 1 half apothem times perimeter. And the perimeter is the distance, of course, all the way around. Or you can use 1 half base times height, that's the area of a triangle, times n, the number of triangles. Notice that n times b, okay, the base times however many of those bases you have, is equal to the perimeter, and the height of the triangle is the apothem, so the two equations are equivalent. If you want to see another example, find the area of a regular polygon, check out the other video I did right there, and I'll show you more examples.